Hey guys, what's going on? This is Ryan Fenners. Welcome back to the Fentertainment channel. I bought this ride the lawnmower this week for 50 bucks off of Facebook. And the boy said it ran last year, but it kind of ran kind of rough. It has surging problems. If yours sounds like this, in this tutorial, I will show you how to fix that. To start with, we're gonna take a T45 Torx bit to just loosen these two front bolts here. On the back of the engine cover, there's two bolts here, one on both sides. Grab yourself a 3 8 wrench and remove those all the way. Once you have the front bolts loosened and the rear bolts removed, now you go ahead and remove the engine cover. In order to remove the black air filter elbow on the front of the carburetor, use an 11 millimeter wrench for the outside bolt. On the inside bolt here, I had to actually remove the crankcase vent hose. This gave me extra room to get to the nut with the socket. Next, I used a 5 16 inch wrench and loosened up the carburetor bolts from the intake and just removed them by hand. Next, remove the fuel line and set it where gas will not leak in the upright position. Next, I'm removing the fuel solenoid plug from below the carburetor. The final step to removing the carburetor from the engine is removing the linkage rods from the motor to the carburetor. Here on the black lever, that goes to the choke, and on that gray level there, uh, there's a rod and spring, and that goes to the governor. Now when removing these linkages, you might have to turn the carburetor certain ways to get them to remove properly, but they will come. Usually I like to take off the choke first, then I like to take off the spring and the governor rod. Okay, so we have the carburetor on the bench. Before we remove the bowl from the carburetor, we have to remove the fuel shutoff solenoid. The main purpose of the fuel solenoid is to allow gas into the carburetor bowl when the engine is on, but when the engine is off, it does not allow fuel into the bowl of the carburetor. This prevents backfiring and flooding of the carburetor. This solenoid used a half inch wrench. Yours may vary depending on years and other makes and models of tractors. The bottom of this bowl has two screws. They are a Phillips or a flathead. I used a flathead to loosen both screws before I removed the bowl. When removing the bowl, be very careful. Remove the spring, remove the pin, remove the float and the needle. The needle slides off of the float. Slide the main jet cover off and remove the main jet from the cover itself. Also go ahead and remove the air fuel mixture screw from the body of the carburetor. Now on the bottom of the carburetor, there are a bunch of very tiny holes, especially there on the emulsion tube. If any of these holes get clogged, this will cause the engine to not run properly. I like to use an old wire brush and remove a couple of bristles from it. This is a perfectly good tool to use to help clean the carburetor. I just take a set of needle nose pliers to help remove the bristles from the brush. Once you have your bristle, be sure to clean your main jet. Once that is clean, go ahead and put it back in the body where we removed it from. Also, be sure to clean every orifice in the emulsion tube. Even these small holes can play a big part in the fuel delivery system. One clogged hole can cause the carburetor to act up and the mower not to run right. Also, be sure to clean the air bleeds. These help mix the air and fuel together and some of these go all the way from the front to the back and others go from the front to the middle and the front to the bottom. For the other holes that's underneath the bowl of the carburetor, I like to take a can of carburetor cleaner, attach the supplied straw, stick the straw into those holes and blow the cleaner through it. You can also chase the carburetor cleaner with compressor air if you'd like in a blow tool. Once you have the carburetor all clean, it's time to go ahead and put the carburetor back together Place the carburetor on the intake with the 5 16 bolts. Also go ahead and put the air fuel mixture screw back into the carburetor right there. Turn it all the way in and then turn it out one and a half turns. This is the basic setting that should get you good results for tuning your carburetor. Also go ahead and put your rods back onto the carburetor to the motor. And uh, also go ahead and to put your fuel line back into the carburetor and attach your solenoid wire to the bottom. So let me go ahead and fire it up.
Now's the time to go ahead and put the engine cover back on and the hood back on to the lawnmower. Guys, my name is Ryan Finners, and you've been watching the Finnertainment channel. If you haven't, please subscribe. I'll put a link right here. Also, check out these other great tutorial videos. Stay tuned for more great videos on the way. Thanks, and we'll see y'all later.